Jersey, Joe Lane. Joe Lane, the night train defensive tackle, is giving fits to right guard Tyler Moore and center Bob Trent. He's taking on that double team, causing havoc. Having a big year is Joey Lane on the defensive side of the ball. Inside they go on the belly. Nobody home. There's that man again. Night train lane. Joey, baby. The captain. 6'2", 230 pound senior. Playmaker on that defensive line. They are happy to have him. This game. They opened up the scoring at 7 nothing. Straight up the gut. Look at the pursuit. The end. The captain. All County defensive end a year ago. Night train Joey Lane. So a loss of two on the play. Here's Make it another tackle for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Looks like he just busts through the middle of the line. Just having a huge defensive year. Moved him to defensive tackle from DN. He's on his way to another all-county season once again. Got to find ways to get him involved. They love him, too. Great personality. He sees Coach Olsen in the hallways. He goes, hi, Mr. Olsen. Here's Luck now. Luck trying to work his way through. He'll avoid the sack, step up in the pocket. But he'll bring up a fourth down now and an interesting call for Coach Chuck Johnson. There's seven and a half to go here.
Oh boy. Right there. Defensively, Joey Lane, what a game, the 6'2", 232-pound senior defensive lineman had for Wayne Hill. Five tackles, four for loss, two second-half sacks. They needed them because Ramapo was kicking their hineys all over the place in the first half, two and a half-year half year starter. So Chris Olson has a couple of really good guys up there at Wayne Hills High School. Lane will have to play a well again this weekend against St. Joe's. Let's take quarterback's eyes he's still barking out plays and it just there's it's loud out here I, I know that's happened a lot at every level of football and the crowd starts to get going 